144 skilled trades, and most people are aware of about six, you know, six to 10. So really for us, it's creating awareness of opportunity. Wade Richardson's career exemplifies the possibilities of working in the skilled trades. First, he was a truck and coach mechanic. I was really interested and I had co-op students and I really enjoyed working with co-op students. And those students, you know, kind of lifted you up when you had them in. And I, and I thought that would be a great next step for a career. Because the reality is, and I, and I tell this to students all the time, when you become a skilled tradesperson, that's like doing your four years in university, then all the opportunities open up from there. So then I became a school teacher and in the school taught here for about 14 years and then the OEAP position came up and I applied for it and I guess I, I got it and I've never looked back, uh, you know, supporting students and help them um, navigate that pathway and quite often start their apprenticeship while in high school and sometimes spe taking specialty programs. A lot of the schools we actually have the level one where the students will almost have their first year, year and a half apprenticeship completed when they graduate. These students have a huge head start as the average apprentice age in the province is currently 28. Wade also works with the Ontario Council for Technology Education. Their mandate is to support technological edu education teachers in all 10 broad-based technologies in the province. So in essence we create lesson plans and you know safety, safety lessons and safety passports. For example, now that hybrids and electric vehicles are coming into the classroom, this summer he'll be working with a curriculum consortium to create new safety guidelines for teachers and students. Wade organizes events that highlight careers in skilled trades, including the Halton Skills Competition, bringing hands-on experience to students grade 4 to 12. It was pretty impressive the skills that they're developing that are actually winning at the provincial, so the best in Ontario, and we had students that were, the, were you know, one was bronze and two gold in the, in the nationals. So we're very successful that way. He also facilitates the program where students have built five tiny homes for the Chippewas of Nawash First Nation. We partnered up with Habitat for Humanity to build these homes and it's, it's a great project for students because they're building a home right from start to finish. He was recently awarded the Lifetime Membership Award for his years of dedication advancing tech education in Ontario. Yeah, I'd just like to thank Octi for the honorarium award. Um, I've worked with them a long time and they really work hard to support teachers which in turn support students which in turn hits the classroom and hopefully makes every, everybody's job easier and smoother and gives relevance to the classroom. And I'd like to thank the Halton District School Board for you know, allowing me to participate with Octi all these years because without their support I would not be as good in this position as I am. Reporting for Halton News I'm Nikki Wesley.